obviously Tate stuff, like he wasn't doing any good when he was uh, obviously doing his Kango business. Like, th that's just the fact. Like, Destin kind of right on that one. He's it, that's a contradictory statement to say. You, know, you don't know what they do behind the scenes. You know, they they donate a lot of money. They have a lot of charities. They donate to the church stuff like that. That doesn't. That, look, it's, no, bro, drug bosses great. donate nice. money to charity too. Look, no, Can look, sneaker. That's now? bro. Yeah, that's I amazing. Think, I don't think that's drug bosses are good bad people. people. Like, it doesn't stop anything. Can we just chit chat for a while? Do we have to yell all the time, man? No, you're good. I like chit chatting. What's up? What Chat, you, you know what? I like I like coming on here because I, I've, what I've understood by uh, Abba's questions is that Destiny and I are two extremes on both sides, and it, it's the truth is always somewhere in the middle. So it's good for us to have these debates so people could come and think for themselves. Like I understand that I'm an extreme. I don't think Destiny thinks he's extreme. No, I think he thinks he's. Right. No, no, Destiny's definitely extreme. He's a pro-government, pro-establishment extreme. <laughs> I think you would acknowledge that. No. Oh man. No, uh, I don't think I'm an extreme, obviously. Nah, I knew it. No, <laughs> what? He dick right in the government so hard right now. <laughs> hold up, hold up, Destiny, Destiny. You say that a lot of people are anti-establishment, and you're very pro-establishment. Wouldn't that make you on that spectrum an extreme? What? I think most people are probably like, uh, like whatever. Is it ambivalent or is that negative? Uh, most people are probably right in the middle. Uh, Indifferent. Yeah, I would say people. Most people are like ambivalent. They're just like. Whatever. Yeah, but that's not you. You're you're, you're pro-establishment. Mm -hmm. I mean, um, I think there's a difference. We're not going out there sucking off the fucking. No, no, he is. He is. He's on Biden dick right no, now. No, no, no. Yeah, he is. He, he he does do that. No, I don't actually do that. I just push back against people that are like yeah. trying to say that like everything is rigged and everything oh. is fucked. And okay, I thought you were an extreme pro establishment person. I mean, this is actually different too. I mean, I mean I'm not gonna like, lie. I do, do think mean, the like, elections are a little bit jiggy. Like, what do you mean, like, pro establishment? Oh, like, God. I just like when this guy just like, said the elections are rigged, like, that's usually what I'm pushing back against. See, like, to I, me, it's like, look at the government that we have. Let's not talk back too much, because yeah. I don't want the channels to get yeah. straight. Because, be like, the government that we have, you have to understand, like, we're not some fucking crazy North Korean government, or this is not, like, some fucking, like, we're not in that stage. The government is still made up of people, if you're, like, I still believe that we have, a just, you know, a degree of control amongst ourselves, you know? Right. We still have autonomy in our system. Yeah, we still you have would people think that, who like collectively you? come together. <laughs> oh yeah, that is true. I'm part of the Matrix, bro. You're right. Fucking tool. <laughs> Yo, Musa, I'm gonna ask you, man. Now that you're making this cheddar, it's like you're not telling people you make this kind of. Pardon? You're not you telling, telling people. Me. We're very open about our income. You so know, you, what I realized. Hold on, you just walking around these London streets, telling people how much money you make every month? I carry no cash. I mean, it don't matter. If people know you got money. Yeah, bro, they'll break careful. your fucking hands and get you to wire transfer. <laughs> they don't give a fuck. I don't want no roadman to run up on you. You feel me? He's in Nottingham, I'm sorry, I'm not in London. Yeah, I'm not even from London, man. Okay, that's good. That's good. Just be careful out there. Especially when yeah, you're just course, out here man. taking public transport and shit. I don't know if you still do that. Yeah, bro, you can't conceal yeah, carry out in fucking the EU, though. Yeah, I appreciate the concern. Well, yeah. Destiny, can you summarize that Miskiff call? I wanted to tune in, but I, your Reddit was just memeing about how many people were watching it. What, what was the summary of that phone call? You want me to summarize K. the fucking three and a half hour call? No, I can't do that. <laughs> Five sentences, go. There's like a huge drama over whether or not some guy that sexually harassed another girl that was sleeping was being covered up for by like the people that own a team house, Miskiff and them. That was like what everything was going over and they were trying to figure out. So who's the bad guy? I, it's complicated, man. I'm not gonna just give you one bad guy. So it doesn't even matter. Damn, you pulled in 58k live viewers for it's complicated. It's yeah, no, that's why that people channel. watched me because they wanted to see the full breakdown of the it's complicated. True. I, Destiny, what do you think about like um, all these liberal streamers doing everything that they promote not doing behind the scenes? Um, it's pretty bad. But I mean, all of you guys like do the same shit. All these red pill people like sit here and talk about how horrible and shit porn is, and like Andrew Tate made his money like selling cam girls online. So I mean, like <laughs> everybody's full of yeah, shit at yeah. the end of the day. At least I'm honest about what no, I do. You understand the market. Same thing. We understand TikTok's bad, but you got to utilize it because you know people are going to seek it out anyway. It's like, do you blame the, the crack dealer for the for the drug I, epidemic, or is it Reagan's fault? Sure, but like look at what you say at one end of the other, right? You're trying to say that everybody should be their own individual. They should all accomplish exactly what they want to do. Don't go to school. Don't be a cog in the system. And now you're telling me how do I make money? Well, I literally am the system. Like, what is it? Like. <laughs> At the end of the day, everybody's getting high on their own the shit. Like, I mean... The system, bro. No, look, the, the, the one thing I would say... No, that's not what I'm saying. No, no, I'm not no, saying no, no. I am the system. There's one way to make money. Here you go. Here's an opportunity. But it doesn't revolve around me. But no, but I'm saying, but like, say, you're, you're like saying, like, school porn? is a scam. I'm going to teach you how to get rich. And how you get rich is by starting a school. That's essentially what you're doing. No, no I, I make, like, that's maybe one-fourth of my income. Most of it is Google AdSense. Yeah, I think I want to deal crack now. <laughs> Base. Me too. Base crack deal. I do math, dude. I'm you gonna definitely hit up. Uh, I'm definitely hitting up uh, Sneeko and, and, and Musa after this. We're, we're, we're gonna get the call. You don't know what we do out in these streets. Hey, listen, I got it. It's serious, Ronnie. I did. Nah, I, I would say no, Destiny. I would say that 
I agree with what you said about Tate in the sense that, um, yeah, he was, he obviously he says anti-porn and stuff like that and then promoted it, essentially made a business out of it. Now, I would say it's different in the sense that when Sneeko was pushing his stuff through TikTok, it's different because he's pushing a positive message that's better than CP, fact, right? But I would say that um, obviously Tate stuff, like he wasn't doing any good when he was uh, obviously doing his camgo business. Like, th- that's just the fact. Like, Destiny kind of right on that one. He's it, that's a contradictory statement to right, say. You don't, you don't know what they do behind the scenes. You know, they they donate a lot of money. They have a lot of charities. They donate to the church stuff like that. That something, doesn't. Something that, they look, it's, about, bro, drug bosses donate nice. money to charity too. Look, no, you look, know, sneaker. That's now? bro. That's I amazing. Think, I don't that's think really drug bosses are good bad people. people. Like, it doesn't stop anything. Like, it doesn't change the fact on what they did. Like, that's really good. Like, that's amazing. I I don't care though. That, that's different because that's. Not what we're talking about. What we're talking about is the fact that there's there's a there's a co- clear contradiction there. They say they're anti-porn, and then they made money from a porn industry and pushed That's more porn. That's not a contradiction. That's not a contradiction. Don't get high in your own supply. Drug dealers don't do coke. Destiny, do you think that drug lords are bad people? I don't think so. Um, yeah, I would say, yeah, of course. <laughs> they're bad people. Abba, you think drug? Do you think um, El Chapo is a bad person? Yes, yeah, yeah. poisoned by the kilo Absolutely. is a bad thing. Yeah. Murdering indiscriminately owned citizens, mm-hmm. not giving this friendly fire, none of that shit. Yeah, terrible. Friendly fire bad, yeah. But but overall, drug- like, people, no, people look- run up a bag, people go from being broke to be becoming millionaires selling drugs. Are they bad people? Yeah, yeah they, you, you gotta do some bad shit to get there, bro. You also just look, sneaker, your look, like, If we're I being honest, these you- people when they're gone, sorry. addicts and families, they're not good people. If you make content, Sneeko, that ruined families all across America, right? Had people becoming either dying or fucking robbing their friends and family just to be able to... You don't think I would think you're a terrible person? Absolutely. Mm. Okay, so I, why don't you blame Reagan for importing all the drugs or the government for... I, if it's a Reagan drugs. dead, if he's dead, they dance on his grave. I don't... Look, I can, look, I can say, right, that I think that obviously the, the mafia level drug dealers, like they're... Like, yeah, yeah that, you're not... They can't be that good of a person. Um, but I would say that obviously... Um, I would say that where I'm from, obviously, that I keep saying obviously. Fuck. Obviously. Uh, look, where I'm from, it's not the greatest area. So I've seen people that I went to school with, obviously. I've, I've seen the, ever, the innocence in them. And I've seen them go from like, these people, they don't have a lot of money. Like their parents are literally selling on Sunday markets and stuff like that. Mm-hmm. Going to the markets to make, to make a living. So yeah, so these kids at my age, they have to. Otherwise, they're not going to know. Eat. Do you want to know the reality to that is? They're part of a transnational criminal enterprise, and they're just as guilty as the people that are running it. So yes, they are in fact uh, criminals, and they should yeah. be fucking no, no, wait, 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 chill. No, I'll I be honest. Say I don't I like seeing that because my friend, like that, that was mm-hmm. personally that's my friend. He's my longest lasting yeah. friend, mm-hmm. ever dying like loyalty to the end with him. Right? He had to come to my house and eat pretty much for for like almost two years straight. The guy couldn't. He couldn't eat, bro. His family couldn't. He could barely afford to live. I'm telling you, like this, this is what it was. So then he had to. He started selling drugs and he had to start doing all these things and eventually like obviously there's, there's not a lot we could i could end up helping him with sometimes he'll yeah. call me up you know i need some money but but it, that doesn't make him a bad person listen, bro I, he's a, he's listen, a good guy it's a complicated him. thing it's a complicated obviously right like i i walk back on like he's just as guilty as el chapo obviously el chapo's running the organization this person's a very small cog in the machine he's like a front level dealer right yeah the thing that i, I the, the the wary i don't budge in is like you're still contributing to that organization with with you being a cog in the machine somebody down the supply chain in that vertical integration is still getting hurt you know that's true that's where the morality gets into right that's where it's hard for me to look past right it's one of the reasons why like cocaine for instance i would never do as a drug or really like most drugs right like unless they're legalized simply because like if i'm buying cocaine or like let's say i buy cocaine from some street dealer right you're right the street dealer probably doesn't do anything they're just trying to make their bag right they're trying to like pay their bills but if i give my fucking 100 bucks to a coke dealer somewhere down the road because of my involvement and their involvement somebody else got fucking hurt that's where my morality comes that's why i don't do drugs that's one of the primary reasons why i don't also i don't need drug i don't need to do drugs but if but you haven't been in a situation yeah. where that's one of your only resorts a lot of people like even he said that like, he's tried mm-hmm. to go and get a job but they obviously he has to put down like where he's from in his general area and and they don't hire people from them areas. Like they have genuine like blacklists, don't hire people from these areas and stuff like that. It's hard to get them type of jobs. And then even then he's had experiences where he's gone and worked with like uh, people that run markets. Obviously his dad would have a stall at a market. He'd go and work with someone at the market and they wouldn't pay him sometimes. What's he gonna do? You know what I mean? Why, do, why, is it, why, why doesn't he just open to TikTok and start editing? Bro. 
That's actually, true. True. Uh, you just you just told yeah, anybody you can do it. No, no, you, you just told me anybody can do it. Actually, uh, true. Uh, Wait, hold on. I walk back then. Actually, what Muda said. What Muda said was right. On eat. It is his fault. I mean, he should be doing he, the YouTube. He, he can do it part time. He can do it part time. He can't just be be slanging dope all day long. He gotta learn how to edit on his time off. I say he does drug dealer drug dealing at night, and he does. Uh, Moose, I'm gonna ask you: Was I stupid at dealing. the age of 16 working retail jobs when I could have just been out slinging crack and making 10 times what I was making at fucking? No, look, it depends on the situation. If you yeah. had if you had the ability to fall back on your parents, like like we've already said, then. Well, I didn't. I didn't take a job from my parents. So what was I supposed to do? Like fucking yeah, the, the retail the, what, job no. or yeah, what work, do you think work, would be smarter job. for me to do? Work, I've, I've said this. I've said this. I yeah. said this earlier. Work your retail job, stack your bread until you're in a comfortable position where you feel like yeah. taking that risk. I ain't mad at that. No. I said that. Now, my exactly. my friend, he couldn't just start making TikToks because he couldn't afford to eat. So he had to get money mm -hmm. so he could eat. You know what I mean? So it's that, it's that type of shit. All right, so I'm he didn't to, have the security to fall I'm back. I'm about to head out, but I just want to ask everyone before I leave, um, who, who's, who, sneak on your opinion, who's somebody a, who's a terrible person? <laughs> Hillary Clinton. <laughs> Hillary Clinton? <laughs> Hillary Clinton. Hillary Clinton. All right, the hot sauce lady. Dope, dope. What, what about you, Destiny? Who, who's somebody who's a terrible person? Who's somebody who's a terrible Donald Trump. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Musa, you, you go next. I'm a religious guy. I don't mean them cools. Hey, there you go. We got a God fair man. Musa, you're last. Joe Biden, because he doesn't fucking do anything. Nice. We got the whole what? fucking track. First thing I agree with Muda on. Yeah, How are you going to trigger me that hard oh, in no, one on. sentence? I'm fucking with you. I'm fucking with you. I'm fucking with you. I go, I go, I go with Trump. Three I'm, oh my God. I'm not the Biden. No, no, no. I go with the Trump. I'm, I'm not like, I go with Trump. He's like a fucking... Damn. Look, he's... Uh, Biden's a little bit brain dead. I ain't gonna lie. Like, he's a little bit like... Uh, he's, gonna, he's a bit wait, lost. Wait, wait, wait. Uh, You're that religious, you can't even say Jeffrey Epstein? <laughs> hey, it's still not my call. I don't know what you're talking about. It's still not my call. I respect that. I respect that. He's a God fearing man. He knows he's, it's his job is not to judge. His job I still is do, to edit. but like it stays in here. At Yo, least Abba, can you turn your camera on next time? You don't want to look at my nose? No, man. No. Uh, I, I don't want to know about that video that you filmed, the, the one in the morning where you played to be like the. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like the nerdy yeah. kid next to the single, right. The one video on your channel. When I was talking like this. <laughs> you scared me, man. That, that was scary. That's my that's my D and D voice. But anyways, guys, y'all gonna let you guys go. So. <laughs> I'm, busy, bro. Right, make up, babe. I'm about to get into Destiny wants to play Factorio. D did you want to chat? I thought we were chatting. Okay, let's chat, bro. What's going on, man? You you bailed on my fucking uh, double date so that you can go like read Twitch drama. I'm sorry. <gasps> to be fair, I would as well. Bro, 58, yeah, no, 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 I, I would too. I would too. I would too. 58k. No, Destiny, you did the right thing. Don't worry. Thanks. I back it. Thanks. I tried. I'm always chasing that bag, you know. That's what I'm saying. I don't want to be complacent at fucking dinner with you <laughs> when I can be. <laughs> See, you see, it's, it's been a yourself. wild, it's been a wild week for Twitch, bro. Like, fucking, I just, see, I like, I've been tuning into Destiny shit for the last few days just because, like, all this Twitch shit. The only one that's parsing it is you. Well, <laughs> because no one else can watch my shit because I'm fucking banned, so they're all getting fucked. <laughs> I told you when this shit happened that there was gonna be a big shift and that people were gonna start coming to YouTube streaming. And didn't you kind of prove that on your own stream? <laughs> I'm here because I got banned from Twitch, my dude. That's why I'm on YouTube. <laughs> no, but I'm saying that all these people watching Twitch are mad at these woke people for, for being fake woke. And now they're going to come over to YouTube. They're going to come over to different platforms. They're going to diversify where they watch stuff because of what happened. And now, isn't that proof that you got 58K covering this shit? That now there's a lot of it is yours? just uh, LSF and the drama hype right now. Um, yeah, I mean, I've, I mean, I'll keep growing, but I think people will start to switch eventually. I think Twitch is running out of steam, which is kind of sad, but yeah. That you didn't is. say that last time. You said Twitch was going to keep going. Um, well, I mean, they're not going to like die, but I mean, I think you're going to start to see like YouTube become more competitive. I don't think Twitch is dying anytime soon, but I think that like you are going to start to see more people hop over. I don't like, want you've to already, that's already been like a big, a big competition, wait. obviously. That Twitch owner that made that exit. You did the right thing, man. Which one? Yeah, one of the, I'm pretty sure one of the owners of Twitch like sold the platform to someone else, right? Like not even too long ago, two, three years ago, or something like that. Uh, what a move. The older like CEOs or whatever? No, it was some some young guy. I, I think I was, I think, I think I'm think one about the right guy anyway. He, he exits like, for TV? Um, yeah, I think, I think it's something like that. I'm not sure, but bro, a couple hundred mil, young guy. All I just know is Amazon fucking picked it up, and now they're holding on to a video site that's apparently costing them fucking too much, it seems. Dang. Like, they had to fucking bring up the concurrent viewer numbers and all that bullshit, and it was like, fuck. I- I just- I don't know why they're not willing to eat the fucking cost, because it surely can't be that high for Amazon. It's gotta be pretty high, like, getting. serving all- 
Wait, wait, eating the cost for what? Oh. For like Twitch a little bit, like versus the bad press and currently in the situation they're in, you know? I don't know why they are, um, like, are you talking about the changes they just made to their partnership stuff? Yeah, even though I, I don't think, it's, that's not bad for most people. It's just like the streamers. Yeah, but they don't make much money off it and it's bad publicity. I super don't understand yeah. that. That was weird as fuck. Yeah. Um, yeah. I, I just, like, fucking... It, it's interesting, like, they're making these moves now, because, like, if you think of the competition, like, Sneeko's right, like, I don't think it's so much like there's a fucking cultural shift as much as there's, like, a valid competitor to Twitch. That, like, because... Dude, I've been streaming on YouTube for, like, years before anybody, like, here was, and the system was terrible. Like, in order to fucking set up a stream, you have to, like, spread bro. your... It was fucking ass. You had to set up, like, live events and shit. Now, the system's gotten super easy. The quality is better. The chat systems are the same. Mm -hmm. They got all the gifted memberships and shit. All they need now is, like, discoverability. Like, there needs to be, like, a fucking YouTube option where, like, you're on the homepage. You click live, and it just changes to, like, the Twitch-style layout. And fucking that would be the fucking killer in YouTube system. Or you, you can know? shoot like, on Cozy. Now. <laughs> cozy or Rumble. It would also yeah. be so nice if they, um... Cozy's got a good user interface, in my yeah. opinion. I wish they had a persistent yeah. chat. Oh no, you Yeah, too. like offline chat. Yeah, I would just say persistent chat would be nice, but... Well, I, I don't know. I mean, like, these things are gonna get implemented a little bit. I feel like... Like, right now, they're, like, buying a bunch of streamers to bring in from Twitch, which is kind of smart, because, like, obviously you're bringing their viewership, but it's just, like... You gotta get the platform up there for the smaller streamers to completely switch on over. Do you guys see the recent short shit? Like, they made the monetization so much better, and I swear that's literally there just to, like, fucking... Changed, because shorts yeah. have always been monetized, no? I think that I think you get more money out of the shorts now. So obviously anybody that's on Twitch or sorry TikTok might be like, eh, maybe I'll come to this platform because I'm actually getting paid, <laughs> versus like a lot of people who are still aren't even in like their TikTok like partnership program. Yeah, I feel you. I'll, I'll see it when I I believe it when I see it because right now twelve dollars for like two and a half mil, it's not really looking too good for the shorts. No, it's <laughs> like, like yeah. Streaming just needs to get like a lot better. Like streaming just needs to get get through the final hurdles on YouTube, and at that point it's like. Then we can, like, Twitch is never going to die, obviously. Like, it's never going to be a platform that goes away. But it's definitely going to be hurting because now it actually has competition. And it's not like Mixer competition. Like, they're going up against, like, the biggest video sharing website in the fucking world right now. So it's not like their competition is, like, weak sauce, right? Mm -hmm. Like, the reason why Mixer fucked up and I, the reason why Mixer didn't go through well is, like, kind of the reason why Facebook gaming doesn't do too well is, like, you don't really have, like, that, you don't have, like, the stack of content creators mm -hmm. over there, right? Sure. So it's like as long as you have like the content creation moving over here and like the content creators like keeping their platforms on YouTube, that's the one thing that brings like the fucking like the pain, you know, okay. to, to Twitch. Asmongold did a thing where, oh yeah, your chat's fucking, yeah, it's Asmongold did a thing where even though it was like a non-monetized thing, he was apparently charging like Amazon 160 grand just to fucking run his stream a month. Oh yeah, because of how much data they save. It's a lot of data, yeah. <laughs> exactly. I mean, the thing too is like, even if they get a, even if they get a discount from Amazon's like farms, mm -hmm. that's still money Amazon ultimately eats because they could have serviced like an actual, you know, business Maybe, partner yeah. with all that bandwidth. Yeah. So, I don't know. But this new chat's funny. I'm saying I'm stuck at sea. Oh. Seems way cooler yeah. than Sneeko. No, Sneeko ditch. What's <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, guys, I'm gonna head out. Good uh, talking with you, Destiny. Good talking with you, Musa. Mm -hmm. And uh, yeah, Safe take care, guys. Because, uh... Yeah, it's been fun. I'll see you guys later. Peace out. Yeah. See you guys.